Hello, I'm Weston Barnes. Tonight I will be reporting on the regulation and deregulation of medical marijuana in California. Marijuana was first used in the ancient Chinese ages for medicinal purposes. It was then brought to the Middle East and made its way to Jamestown in the US as hemp fiber. Now it didn't remain used as hemp fiber for long. The Americans shortly thereafter used it for recreational uses. California made it illegal in 1913, but then made it legal again medicinally in 1996. Marijuana is known for its huge economic potential, but because of regulations, the drug has never maximized on its potential. Dr. Jeffrey Miron from Harvard estimates that the deregulation of marijuana could save our country billions of dollars a year. We've become lucky enough to meet with the medicinal marijuana club owner ourselves. So tell me about your experience with running a dispensary in California. Well, so far it has been quite the roller coaster. The biggest struggle is staying within the law and avoiding raids. Back in May of 2008, I was raided by the division of the DEA and my dispensary was shut down. So tell me, tell me how come your business is able to survive sometimes and other times you're not allowed to get away with it? Alright. Um, federally, according to the Controlled Substance Act, marijuana has no accepted medical use. Good thing Obama has been pushing to allow dispensaries to survive. In this first term, the Obama administration sent memos telling federal persecutors to take it easy on those who run dispensaries. Tell me about regulations at the local level. That depends entirely on the interpretation of the law. California, the Compassionate Use Act of 1996, states that seriously ill Californians have the right to obtain and use marijuana for medical purposes. But it says nothing about regulating the distribution of marijuana. It's almost like the government wants people to obtain it illegally. Usually different counties and cities in California will have specific laws and regulations about distributing. Some counties have civil and criminal sanctions for operating a dispensary and others just have civil. How large would you say the marijuana industry is in the United States? Well, it, non-medical marijuana weighs out to roughly 22 million pounds. The government annual survey predicts each pound to be worth $1,600. That's a lot of money which would be taxed. And this is only considering um, marijuana in the United States. What kind of taxes would you suggest be implemented? Well, excise taxes which could raise between $2.2 and $6.5 billion. Sales taxes which would make between 0.2 and 1.3 billion dollars. Well, savings from marijuana crime enforcement could be anywhere between 6 and 9 billion dollars. All these stats are provided by the National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana. What are some possible externalities? Well, mainly the police force may have to shrink in high marijuana using areas because there would be no arrests being made. Currently, medical marijuana makes it very accessible for people to get prescriptions. And marijuana has the possibility of being a gateway drug with more of it in circulation. And this could lead to unwanted drug use on the rise. What is the cost benefit of deregulating marijuana? Well, if marijuana was deregulated, you'd have to think about the efforts still to tax it and make sure everything would stay in order. It would cost million multi-million dollars to get an organization set up to manage the sale of marijuana. However, despite the money spent on this, I'm confident there is a profit to be made in deregulation. Also, rewriting laws for various reasons are another cost the government must take into consideration. How much money has been made from medical marijuana, and do you suggest deregulating it? Well, medical marijuana raised over a billion dollars in revenue last year and over $150 million in taxes, as reported by the U.S. News. I see huge potential in the deregulation of it. Demand is huge, with half of California's voting population admitting to using the drug at least once, founded by a field pool. And with perfect climate and already large amounts being made, the supply will keep up with the demand. Mr. 
Mr. Governor. Uh, what are your thoughts on the deregulation of marijuana? Uh, I personally oppose deregulating marijuana. I voted no on Prop 19 and still hold my opinion strong. However, I do condone medical marijuana in some cases. I recently vetoed a bill wanting to shut down any dispensary 600 feet from a home. I believe decisions of this kind are best made in cities and counties, not state capital. In addition, California can manage itself. We don't need the federal government to regulate our medical marijuana. How abundant is marijuana in California? Well, in a field poll ran by the California Abundant Index, uh, down on California voters, 74% of registered voters in 1996 uh, approved medical marijuana. 47% of voters admit to smoking marijuana at least once in other concentrated areas such as the Bay Area. Up to 60% say they've tried the drug. Clearly marijuana is abundant and is here to stay. Whether I agree with the drug or not, we should find a way to stop the use or at least benefit from it. What happens if a Californian gets caught with the drug? If you're caught with over an ounce, it can be a misdemeanor. This can result up to six months in jail. Under an ounce is a civil infraction and can be fined up to $100 with no jail option. But after your first offense, fines increase. If you have the intent to sell up to three years in prison, if you do sell it, it could result in up to four years in state prison. All these facts can be found in California state law. Why is marijuana illegal at the federal level? Well, California's medical marijuana law conflicts with federal law, specifically the Controlled Substance Act, which states the cultivation and sale of the drug is illegal. There's a shade of gray here, though. Medical marijuana, legal by state law, continues to get shut down by the federal government using the Supremacy Clause, which allows the federal government ultimate power over the states.